This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I got Journeyman John with me again. And today we are testing out a product we got sent to us. Just showed up in the mail from Hyde. And I call it the two-headed snake, John, but really what is it? It's the dual head tip extension. And here it is. It's an aluminum tip extension that has two heads on it. So you can put two tips on it so you can basically increase your fan width, right? Indeed. So we've been testing it out so far. We've only been testing it for about an hour and a half so far. So far, so good. <laughs> so I was super hesitant. Like I thought this was super gimmicky and I, I think I sprayed coming down this side the fastest I've ever sprayed a side of a house. John's been procrastinating for a couple weeks. I am. Um, not wanting to use this thing and I've been pushing him to use it today. I threw it on the gun and said, we're gonna test it out. The biggest thing I thought that was, it, the problem was gonna be, it was gonna be way too heavy on the end. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not at all. No. So Granted, we spray with a 30 inch extension and so we're used to some weight on the end of the gun. If you're not used to an extension, it's going to feel like a lot right. of weight. But to me, this is absolutely no different than running with a 30 inch extension. Yeah, I don't feel um, really any weight difference. I just feel a little bit slight difference of weight on the gun itself mm -hmm. versus a 30 inch extension. Very slight because basically you got two heads, maybe a little bit more aluminum right here. We did run into an issue with it um, dripping a lot of paint in the beginning. We were running it at what PSI? We were running at 1900 PSI, which was fine for one tip, but with two tips, we bumped that up to about 2400 PSI and that helps clear those spits out so they don't just hang on the tip guard. It looks like it's almost completely eliminated it, um, not 100%, so yeah, I do see that that might be um, one of the things that keeps it from being maybe a five-star tool, but we're gonna keep testing it out. I mean, I'd like to not see that drip at all, because with a 30-inch extension, you don't get that build up and drip at all. So you're gonna have to be careful on concrete, just um, use drop cloths. You know, um, but I think we're getting it to the point where it's almost eliminated, but not 100%. Right. So there you go. It's gonna uh, increase the time, you know, uh, uh, or decrease the time it's gonna take to paint a house. Can you run, because we did, we ran a live Facebook show. We got some questions. Yeah. Can you run two different tip sizes, say like a 515 and a 619? Well, you can do anything you want, but we would probably not recommend it. So yep. the, they have a handy little chart on the back here and it recommends from a 517, 519, 521 to a 615, 617, 619, 621. I would keep the same size tip on both because you want that orifice to be the same size and then you want that fan to overlap pretty evenly. So right now we're running two 517s on it. It seems to be working really well with really the two well. 517s. I mean, if you bumped it up to uh, six, 619, 621, mm -hmm. your fan width is gonna be even greater. Yeah. One of our first questions, mine and yours was, well, why not just run a 30 inch extension with a 1221? If you had, um, you know, two 621s on here, you're gonna have a wider fan. You will Because have you have fan. this width right here. Yeah. So you got a 1221, this width is gonna increase your fan width. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah, you know, we should do a side by side. We should. We'll have to check that we'll out. We'll have to check it out. It does. Um, it does have, it's staggered, as you can it see. Mm -hmm. So they've obviously done some testing and figured it out. You know, staggered's gonna be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on Facebook that we got that we can address here? You know, people asked about the weight, which we've addressed. They asked about using different tip sizes. One of them was, is this going to save the life on your tips? Yes. You know, it's not really going to save the life on your tips because, but you are going to be using a tip for half of the house instead. So you're still using the same amount of tip life as you're spraying the house. Your two tips are just gonna last twice as long. And so, it, it's all, no. You don't save any tip life, but you don't lose any tip life either. Yeah. Cause you used, you're spraying twice as fast, basically. You're using two tips, so it, it basically just equals itself out. So I think it's a good question. So we're gonna continue testing this thing out. We'll let you know at the end of the day what we think of it, whether we would recommend it because we don't know right now. Right now we're kind of siding on, it may be a tool that we're gonna keep in our van. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Be like a machine gun. <laughs> now we're wasting our seven minutes away. Oh, yeah. So, John, we've been testing this thing out today now. The Hyde um, dual-headed um, tip extension right here. Mm -hmm. And 
so far i kind of like it one of the things that we've discussed that we probably would use it for and probably most likely use it for is doing fences if i hook on two titan hga um, high efficiency airless tips that have way less overspray do fences really really fast with it what else do you think you'd use this thing for john you know i would even bust this thing out if i had like a, just a massive expanse of soffits that i had to spray because i can do fewer passes working on those soffits and it's about the right height to be able to shoot most soffits or if i had like a like a large brick wall or stucco wall something like that where i just was going to be holding that trigger down and wanting to get material out pretty quickly. The, the other thing that came to my mind too, we don't do new construction anymore, but I think this might come in handy doing new construction. You probably can paint a lot faster if you threw two big old tips on there, but I'd have to test it out, throw on. I usually, well, I used to use a 1221 in new construction. I don't think you could put a 1221 on here, but maybe two 621s and see how, if that's a bigger fan. But I don't know, so far so good. It's lightweight, it's um, tested out really good today. We've only been using it for a day but we're gonna keep testing it, put them in our vehicles. It's not one of those things we're gonna toss out right away, so. No, um, I, think it, I think this is one of those tools that legitimately has a space in a, in a toolbox. Like yep. I, I think it, it would get pulled out and used often enough that you could justify having one. The high dual-headed snake. Or tip extension. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. And John, why don't you sign us off today? Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and we will see you on the next video. Out. Out. <laughs> <laughs>